hey guys welcome to my channel and today we'll be talking about relationships and all those other things hey guys so today we'll be talking about relationship red flags so i was talking to my friend like i said about um this a guy that she was talking to and I was just like, is it okay for me to talk about this? She was like, she didn't care. So I'm going to talk about the relationship red flags that we both came up with. Um, I feel like I've dated a lot of guys in the course of years since like 2018 to now. So this will be fun. Oh, I just kicked the camera. It's always me, y'all. Okay. Okay, so let's get into these red flags so i talked to my friend about um the red flag that she was dealing with and then i was like is it okay for me to share yours of course like with mine she was like she ain't care so i was like let me make a video about it so the first one is the job do you have a job do you not have a job do you have goals do you have an aspiration to get a job do you have a career like what is your goals for the next couple of years because if you're dating for marriage why would you want to date someone that does not have no type of ambition or has no type of goal for obtaining the things that you need in life or want in life like your goal should be similar to his if that makes sense the next thing is a relationship not relationship a dating red flag is um, if he never want to go on a date. So I talked to somebody in the past and all he wanted to do is get me to come to his house. Like he like, Oh, come to my house. We can chill, watch TV. We can, I could cook. And I'm like, why do I need to come to your house? Like every time I'm not coming to your house. So I never went to his house actually. And I guess he just cut me off. That's fine. Um, the next one is he doesn't plan the first date. I really get irritated with that because a lot of guys now don't like plan the first date. So they'll be like, oh, what you want to do? I'm like, if you don't plan this date, like, don't do that. Oh, my God. And then another thing is, like, he wants you to go half with him on the date. So, y'all, when I was in college, I was dating this guy. He was way older than me not way older than me but he was like 26 um and he was still in no this he just had graduated from college the year before so yeah i'm trying to make sure it's right so anyways he was a teacher and he asked me he was like um you want to go on a date and it's this place called pinkies in charlotte that we used to go to all the time and he was like um want to go on a date and i was like sure so i got dressed look cute everything like that um we get to the restaurant we get the food everything is nice whatever then he says to me oh okay well the bill like when the bill comes he's like oh well um you want to go half or you want to split the check i mean no he was like you want to split the check or you go and pay for yours and I pay for mine. And I was like, you asked me on a date, sir. Like, what? So I paid for my stuff, y'all. And I ain't never talked to that man again. I was like, oh, no. Nah, this was the first and last date, period, point blank. Like, are you serious? Um, Another thing is the guy does not respect your boundaries. Like, um with my first boyfriend my little high school boyfriend or whatever he used to like be real forceful like playing with me like like he would grab my arm and stuff like that and i don't like stuff like that like i was i grew up seeing a lot of like domestic violence and so i've never been one for like that rough housing with your significant other so i don't really play like that so it made me not want to talk to him like over a course of time and then he was just like oh you're being so sensitive and it's like i'm not being sensitive i don't like that don't do that like you can't tell me what i want 
and what I don't want. Like, you can't just be like, oh, you're okay. Like, that's not how stuff works. So don't ever let nobody tell you, oh, you're being sensitive or let somebody say you're being dramatic because you're not being dramatic. If you don't like it and it does not make you feel comfortable, don't let nobody do that to you. The next red flag is a retired athlete. So I used to talk to this guy. He was um, a college football player and he ended up not going to the league he almost got into the league but he didn't make it and then he started playing like the minor leagues and i was really proud of him like i'm like you're you know you're doing good but after a while it was just like he just that's all he wanted to do he didn't want to do anything else and it's like okay you're passing the time or the the age limit to play in the NFL, like, come on, boo, let's figure out what else you want to do. And he was just so hyped and he was just so set on playing um, in like Canada or another league or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, I just had to leave him alone because it was just like, oh, I keep kicking the camera. I was just like, I can't keep on waiting for you to figure out what you want to do. And not talking bad about him or anything like that like he was a really nice person and I really wished him the best but it was just like I can't really deal with that right now especially when I was in college like I didn't know what I really wanted to do like because I went to sport, to school for sports event entertainment management so I wanted to be like a sports manager then I wanted to plan events because I started planning events while I was on campus and I really liked it. So I just was like indecisive of what, what I wanted to do. And I was just like, I can't handle somebody else being indecisive and then I'm being indecisive. Like it's not going to do anything. Um, this relationship won't work. So yeah. And then another one, another red flag would be like selfishness. So I've talked to this guy. Well, it's really the same guy, the retired athlete guy. Yeah, so he was, like, real, real selfish. Like, he only wanted to talk about himself. He only wanted to talk about what he had going on. He never asked me, like, hey, Andy, how was your day? Or he never really got to know me for me. Like, I knew his favorite color. I knew everything about him almost. And if you was to ask him right now what was my last name, he probably would not be able to tell you. And we were talking for a while. So it was just like, who wants something like that, y'all? Like, don't do that. Like, that selfishness in a relationship, that's definitely a red flag for me now. Because I know how that made me feel. So, you know, just try to stay away from that. The next thing would be rudeness. So, um, I am, like, my relationships are nothing like that. I've never dealt with this. But I've heard stories of people that's just, like, mean to the female or mean to, like, their friends or being mean to you around their friends or their family and stuff like that or just being rude to people, like, period, like, being rude to people in the service industry, like, I've heard stories, like, I'm not even trying to be funny, like, people have told me stories about how guys have been mean to the waiter or never le left the waiter or tip for anything like that. Like, I understand some people have hard times and can't tip a big tip every time, but at least, you know, try to give a tip because sometimes these people, tips is really how they making their money. Like, it'd be little stuff like that to me that go a long way. Um, and then another thing was um, controlling so, y'all, I think I'm going to tell the story time about my little stalker guy. I'll probably tell that story time one day. But you ever felt like somebody wanted to be with you, like, 24-7? Like, always asking you what you doing, where you at? Like, I had one of those. Like, he would drive up and down my street because he lived behind my street. He would drive up and down my street to see if I was home or, like, if I was outside or anything or my mom was outside. And I really just felt like that was so weird. Um, But, yeah, I'm not going to tell y'all too much about that because I'm going to tell y'all story time about him. Next one is going to be, like, the guy's list overly horny. Like... You could see a banana and he's trying to like sexualize the banana, like just over sexualize everything. It, 
everything don't have to be sexual. Like we can have a conversation and it does not have to be sexual. And for me, that irritates me. Like um, when we were younger, well, when I was younger, guys used to want to play like 21 questions, right? And then they used to be like, what's your body count? Or are you a virgin? Like they used to ask that and I'm like, oh no. That's not what we're doing. But even like older guys, I feel like they probably do the same thing. So, yeah, this is going to be on my list. And then the last one is going to be somebody that tries to downplay your achievements. When I graduated from um, college, I was talking to a guy and he didn't finish college. And he was just like, oh, that's good. When I graduated, instead of being like, oh you know i'm proud of you congratulations like i wish that i had did that stuff like that he did not give me none of that he was just like oh it's okay that's good like i'm just like are you serious like you're not even going to be like oh baby you did it oh boo you did it i was just like oh no so y'all just stay away from these type of guys because they suck for real for real and red flags stick out like sore thumbs and you would tell you can tell that somebody is not like the one for you but a lot of females i know will like look past the red flag so they can have somebody and stuff like that and i'm just like don't do that don't ever like i don't want to say stoop but like stoop to that man's level because i always say like it's somebody out here for you that's going to treat you with the utmost respect and it's going to have everything that you want. So you have to manifest. And I say this all the time, like I manifest the man that I want. I manifest the life that I want. Um, and manifestation might not be for everyone, but you can pray. I have try to pray for, you know, the life that I want. If you want to say not manifestation just say you praying you praying for the life that you want the husband that you want things like that think that finding a relationship is hard and don't just jump into anything and that's really what i could say like walking away with i really think that um i'll come back with my cousins um possibly with some more red flags because i know my cousin's gonna have a funny um funny lists or a good list my cousins are hilarious if y'all have not watched that story time not story time that vlog with us that night that we went to run and get food they are a mess and i love them so much but yeah i'm trying to get some more videos um some more content for y'all i really don't be knowing what to talk about so i just be feeling like i be ranting and y'all know how I love to rant. So, yeah. But anyways, we're going to figure out some more content. I'm really dealing with um trying to figure out my next moves because I'm trying to buy a car and I'm trying to do a lot of stuff at one time. So, I'm trying to figure everything out. Um, I was dealing with some things, too. So, I'm back on my YouTube stuff. Um, it I only skipped two weeks, so don't be like, oh, Andy, where you been at? Because it wasn't long, but it's been two weeks since I posted something, and I felt so bad, but I'm going to be back on my stuff. Um, I think I want to um, do some more vlogs with um, my family, my cousins, and stuff like that. I really don't have much friends to vlog with but i do want to do vlogs i love the vlogging um i don't know what else y'all leave some like things in the comments like y'all but like andy do this or do that so i can have some stuff if y'all like my video and y'all stayed to this far you know comment a heart or something let me know that y'all watched it Thank y'all for watching. Bye.